Fox News ran a hilarious fluff piece on Hispanic outreach among Republican candidates. Check it out. Tonight, a look at what Republicans are hoping to do to gain favor with a rapidly growing segment of the electorate. Here's senior national correspondent John Roberts. Gracias a ustedes. Thank you. You can expect to hear a lot more of that in the nice next 18 you. months awesome. as the Republican yeah. candidates attempt to recover from a disastrous Thank performance you. among Hispanic voters in 2012. People don't care what you know until they know that you care. And I don't think Republicans have done a good job of reaching out to Hispanics and letting them know that their support is important. Hector Barreto helped lead George W. Bush's Hispanic outreach in 2004 when Bush collected 44 percent of the Hispanic vote. Barreto says the candidates need to be out in Hispanic communities now, building bridges, making the case that Republican policies are in lockstep with what they care about. We've got a good uh, bench this time. We've got a number of candidates that get it, that understand it. Some of them speak fluent Spanish. One of those fluent candidates is Marco Rubio, the son of impoverished Cuban immigrants. Rubio's campaign won't give details about his outreach program, except to say his story and message has appealed across a number of voter groups. But Rubio is taking nothing for granted. If you become the nominee, do you get instant buy-in from the Hispanic community? No, you have to earn that. Just because my last name ends in a vowel doesn't guarantee me the vote of anyone. Jeb Bush is probably the most aggressive in courting Latino voters. He recently appointed Jose Malaya campaign manager for Hispanic Outreach and has a separate communication shop dedicated to Spanish language media. He's making campaign stops in Hispanic neighborhoods and last month traveled to Puerto Rico. Vamos a ganar. And as his brother did in 04, Bush will have Spanish-speaking surrogates across the country to engage the community on a constant basis. Por favor, disculpen mi español. Rand Paul and Ted Cruz plan similar outreach. Cruz even has his Cuban-born father, Rafael, campaigning for him. I'm speaking the Spanish. I'm speaking the Espanol. Will you vote for me? I can make similar noises with my mouth like you make. That's reason to vote for me, right? The best part was Bush by far. You only got like a split second of it. But he's like, Todos los muchos nachos. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> it's so awkward. It's so forced. It's so fake. It's so contrived. And in all seriousness, it's incredibly patronizing and condescending to Hispanics. Because it, it treats them in like a childish way where the argument is... Or the optics of it are, you know, oh, if I try to talk like you and I'm in your presence, then maybe you'll like me more and maybe you'll vote for me. No, it's not about that. It's about your fucking policies, you idiots. I mean, try to try to view this in a different context. Try to you know you know what this is like? This is like when Mitt Romney went to a a, a majority black area and was taking pictures with people, and he's like, Who let the dogs out? Who? Who, who, who? No, people don't look at you and go, oh, he's around black people. We, could, we should vote for him. No, people look at you and they go, all right, motherfucker, you're here right now, but tell me what policies you're in favor of and how they will affect my life. It's amazing how, uh, you know, Republicans understand that with other white voters, like, oh, we got to come up with some sort of an argument to, like, dupe them over into voting for us, so let's use an argument. With Hispanics, they're just like, I don't know, man. Say a couple words in Spanish. That'll get them to vote for us, hopefully. 